Hi there! In this video, we'll talk about project calendars. Calendars help you to schedule and organize your project meetings and targets. Simply click on a date to add a new event, milestone or task for the project. Now let's start by adding a new event. So I'm going to click on a date here and let's select the event option. Now in the add event window, we'll have to start by adding a title for the event and uh, you can also add some description. Select a few attendees for the event. So I'm going to select a few users here. You can also choose if you want this to be an all day event or if you want it to have a start time and an end time for the day. You can also create recurring events for your projects. From here, you can choose to create a daily, weekly, monthly or an yearly recurring event. So let's say in this case, we want to create a weekly recurring event. We'll select a few options. So let's say we want this to start from next Monday, reoccur every Monday until the end of August and click on apply. And right here, you can see the event has been created. You can also set up reminders for the events so that all the attendees are notified through an email 15 or 30 minutes before the event begins. Let's click on add and here the event has been created for all the upcoming Mondays. Let's move on to the milestones. Milestones are like targets you can create for your project in the calendar view. To create a milestone, simply click on a date and select the milestone option. Now let's start by adding a title, some description, select a few assignees and here you can also set up a reminder on the milestone. Now one of the very specific features of a milestone is that you can associate it with a task list. So from here we can associate it with an existing task list and let's click on add. Now the milestone has been added for the project and all the assignees will be notified if it is not completed by the selected date. Similarly, you can also add tasks from the calendar view. On the top right corner of the screen, multiple filter options are available. Click on the context menu to subscribe your proof of calendar with your Google Calendar or iCal. You can also download it in PDF or CSV format. So this was all about managing calendars in your projects. Do let us know if you have any questions and we will be happy to help.